What is all this stuff in the universe made of? And this question has plagued great thinkers for millennia, and while we still don't entirely know the answer to this. The stuff that we can see we call matter. You know, the stuff that we can touch and feel and observe with our senses. And there's this other stuff called energy. Energy can make the matter move, and energy is light so it can help us see the matter. And energy is sound so we can hear the matter. And energy is heat, and energy is electricity. And, well, you get the idea. There are a lot of different types of energy. So here's the crazy thing. The entire amount of energy and matter that we can see and observe in our universe only makes up 5% of all of the stuff. So what's all the other stuff? Well, the other stuff is called dark matter and dark energy. We don't really know what that stuff is yet, but we know that it's there. So in this lesson, we're gonna focus on that 5%, the matter and energy that we know. So what are we gonna learn in this video? Well, first we're gonna learn what energy is, and then we're gonna learn different types of matter. We'll learn the difference between pure substances and mixtures. And then we're gonna learn different types of pure substances, and then finally different types of mixtures. First, let's start with energy. Now, energy is actually pretty difficult to define because there's so many different forms of energy. Traditionally, energy is defined as the ability of a system to change, sometimes as the ability to do work. Sometimes energy is thought as the force that makes something move. Energy is tough to boil down to just a single definition because each form of energy kind of behaves differently. There's kinetic energy, potential energy, chemical energy, thermal energy, and nuclear energy, and it just goes on and on. So we'll leave our discussion of energy with this. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. Energy is constantly being converted into other forms of energy, but it's always conserved. So for example, the chemical potential energy in the chemical bonds of the molecule octane, that is gasoline, can be converted into thermal energy inside our car engine, which is then converted into mechanical energy to make our car move. For a long time, it was thought that energy and matter were just completely separate from each other, and they weren't really related in any way. Now, this all changed when a great scientist named Albert Einstein came along, and he showed us that energy can be converted into matter, and matter can be converted back into energy. He proved this idea with the famous equation E equals mc squared. Okay, so back to matter. There are two main types types of matter. We have pure substances and we have mixtures. Most of the matter in the universe is a mixture. That is, different types of matter are all kind of jumbled up together. Like this gold ore, for example. The pure element gold is found in rocks in the Earth's crust, and the gold is mixed up with all sorts of other substances, and so we have to purify it and refine it to get that 100% pure gold. Some matter is a pure substance, and there are two main types of pure substances. There are elements and there are compounds. A pure substance will be only one single type of matter. Elements are these things here on the periodic table. So each square represents an element. So we have pure copper, like this wire, and then there's titanium, like this ring, and then there's pure iron, like this bar. So then there are compounds, and compounds are kind of like mixtures of elements. The elements would be chemically bonded together. Here's an example. If I chemically combine hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, I get water, the H2O molecule. So distilled water is 100% pure water, 100% H2O, nothing else, no other compounds or elements in there. Tap water, on the other hand, is a mixture. There would be water, but there's also some other things dissolved in there. So maybe it's only like 98% H2O, and then there's some other compounds that are all mixed together. Distilled water, pure substance tap water mixture. Finally, there's two different types of mixtures. There are homogeneous mixtures and there's heterogeneous mixtures. The prefix homogene means of the same kind. And so a homogeneous mixture is one that looks the same throughout the mixture. You can't see the different parts of the mixture. I can take this glass of water and I can stir some salt into it. Now, once the salt completely dissolves, I'll no longer be able to see the salt. And so it's gonna look the same throughout the mixture. So a glass of salt water would be a homogeneous mixture because I can't see the different parts. This pizza, on the other hand, is a heterogeneous mixture. Hetero means different. And so a heterogeneous mixture means that the mixture looks different throughout. You can see all the different parts of the mixture. And so I can see the pepperoni and the cheese and the sauce. So did you learn everything in this video? Well, if you did, you learned that energy comes in many different forms. Matter can be found as a pure substance or as a mixture. There are two types of pure substances, elements and compounds. And there are two types of mixtures, homogeneous, the same throughout, and heterogeneous, different throughout. Thanks for watching. Click to subscribe and learn more science with short, simple video tutorials.